This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate how to create depth of field focus using a camera in motion. I go to the top view all the time to figure out how I want stuff to look. And you'll notice that everything is in focus. We can add depth of field to a camera, and it's tricky. So let me show you how it works. Let's go back to the top view. Two things have to be done. Go up to the render menu and turn on depth of field. It's off by default. Second, select the camera, go to the inspector, go to camera, and show depth of field. The DOF, that stands for depth of field, the blur amount is how blurry stuff is going to get. I'm going to have it be really blurry. And you'll notice that everything is quite blurred here. The near focus is that part of the camera which is in focus. And notice here, as I roll it, see that yellow line moving? Let's just move this over so we can see both the inset. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Both the inset and the camera. I have to click and drag in that little space right there. Okay, so let's drag near focus again. Near focus determines which part of the shot is in focus. Notice here, just the letter C is in focus, or here the letter A is in focus. Far focus is what part of the end of the shot is in focus, and by default, it defaults to the focal plane. You can't pull it closer. You can only move it farther away which means that which is in the background is in focus. So if you want to mess with depth of field, set the near focus to be in front of the nearest object to the camera that you want to have be in focus, and set the far focus to zero. Once you've done that, we can adjust the focus offset to roll so the foreground is out of focus, look at the A is out, or the background is out of focus. Notice the C is out. So by rolling focus offset, as long as the render is set to depth of field, you can adjust the blurriness of your image through depth of field. Now let's say we want to have a really tight depth of field. I'm going to move that closer. Now as I roll the focus offset, Notice that I can make more of the word in focus or do much more of a roll focus, like I've got a very shallow depth of field by the A being in focus or the M or the C. So the DOF blur amount determines how blurry the image is going to be. Near focus is the closest object to the camera that's in focus. Far focus is the farthest object from the camera that's in focus, and in general leave that to zero. And focus offset allows you to roll the focus from one to the other. Is that not amazing? This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 307. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.